up beautiful people welcome once again to HN Clothings and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to make the perfect snatched waistband yes so if you know you've been struggling with always making a waistband that gapes and it doesn't sit well right on your waist wherever you put your either skirt or pants or whatever wherever you put that waist it doesn't sit well there you see it has some gaping effect then you need to make small triangular darts in there please stop that that is 1990 whatever whatever <laughs> okay so this is just the perfect tutorial you need to know to learn how to make a snatched well-fitted waistband so if this is something that you want to learn please to keep on watching and yeah let's get right into today's tutorial all right so i have my front and back a-line skirt pattern okay and now what we're going to do is just get a strip of paper i have this strip of paper and then you want to try as much as possible to transfer your um, you want to mark the waistline transfer your waistline on this paper all right so we want to do the waistband for the front pattern of our skirt okay so this is my front pattern of the skirt I'm going to be placing it on this paper just cut a white paper not too wide something like this and just the length of all you have here and now what you want to try as much as possible to do is this is my center front that means this is the line where when you say center front this is the line that is unfold for my front okay so i want to try as much as possible to make that place align with this straight line here okay so i should be having something like that let me do it this way so that I'll be able to do it well okay so because this is your center front you'll be cutting it on fold you want to make sure that that part also represents the fold that you'll be cutting it on okay okay I'm just trimming that part off so that this front here this center front that's the line in your center front here Will align and you can cut that one on fold the front should be on fold the back will be separate pieces so when I place it like this I'm now going to next use my marker and just trace out the waistline or your pencil whatever you're using trace out the waistline okay so you get to that waist measurement and I'm just drawing that side seam there so that I know this is what I'll have and this is my CF line here now don't bother that this thing is looking all slanted and all by the time you show it is going to fit like a glove okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing my I need my band to be two inches wide if you want your band wider than that if you want it three inches two and a half inches go ahead to do it but since I want two inches width for the band I'm now going to from this line that I have traced as my skirt waist I'm going to go up and measure two inches round that line two inches round the line two inches round the line till I get to the slanted position that we had initially and I'm going to draw the slant Okay. great so this is the line we'll be following okay this is the line we'll be following for the band now because the band is this way this curvy we need to put half inch below that will be sewn into the skirt waist and half inch on top that will use to join the um band that will be touching the main like touching your body and the one that they can see the inner and the outer piece you know you need half inch up as well so i'm going to measure half inches down and half inches up 
and join them and cut them out please just follow it step by step take your front skirt pattern place it make sure the center front is on a straight line this straight line and however curve the rest of the body is curve it that way trace the skirt with that's the first step second step measure how wide you want your band if you want it one inch two inch two and a half three inch four even if it's five inch width you want for your band measure all the way up okay then after you have done that that's the main band you now need to put half inch on top half inch below as the sewing allowance okay sewing allowance now i can cut this front band out let me write front on this one You are cutting on that allowance part up here and down here. So, this is how my band will be for the front. Let's do the band for the back. Get another piece of paper. Get the back skirt and place it. Now this one, you, you can still align the zip line. So I just got an A4 paper. You can just use an A4 paper. I align the zip line. Okay. Then I make that zip line be on the straight green. And now I'm just going to follow the skirt curve the same thing you did for the front just trace it with your pencil or whatever and draw this line so that it will guide you when you want to draw the upper line you can label it the zip and the side seam for the back let me write it there now the next thing you do is from that point measure my two inch width remember i used two inch for the front i'm still going to use two inch for the back i'll just measure two inch from that skirt waist round two inches round two inches i mean round then after you've done that you can trace it well okay then also use the line to meet Okay, now that you have that, mm, that line is just going straight up. You can now do half inches up here because you'll be sewing that up part. Half inches up here and half inch at the bottom as well. Half inch at the bottom. Let's go around it. This half inch is your sewing allowance. Okay. Next, just cut it out. Good. So I have my back and front band. Now, since we are done drafting the pattern, make sure you do this. If you have gotten to this stage, well done. Now you're going to take the fabric you're going to use for the band, okay? Let me take the fabric. We're going to start with the front. I'll be using this fabric for the band. Okay, so I'll take the strip. This is like the leftover piece. Now what you want to do is fold it like this. However you have it, even if it's a full fabric, you still have a lot of fabric, okay? Just make sure you fold it this way, okay? Fold it into two first of all like this so that make sure that the band will be able to contain inside. Fine, the band will enter. So this is like an okay size to do, okay? And next, you fold it again like this. So like into four. After you folded it into two, on top each other, front side facing front side, then now you do it this way, okay? So you want to make sure that everything is on full here, so that your center front will sit there. Great. 
so it's perfect now it's sitting well let me push it inwards make sure it sits on that center front which it now is okay great so my center front this is it cut unfold let me just remove the pin and show you what you should have so if i open it up great so you see that i should have two pieces two pieces because you know it's now one for this one that you'll be seeing here like this that will be showing and the other one will be the one inside to line it the other one is like the lining of the band so that's why we fold anything too full and make sure that all the fold that there's no opening where you place the cf okay wherever you place the cf there shouldn't be any opening now let me pin it back and let's do the back quickly so now for the back again i have this piece of fabric this is my back pattern i have this piece of fabric remember how we did it fold it like this okay then fold this way yeah so for the back you can still make sure that all these lines are on the folded edge then the zipper should just be on that straight grain like that and then cut it out you can pin it then cut it out let me just pin you could have left the zip that way without it opening up so like this you can leave it this way if you had maybe side zips but because the zip is at the back you need to open up this part that you cut for the zipper band okay so this is what you have the zipper mm, for the two side the left and the right side of the back okay then the front one long strip that's what you should have the front one long strip the zipper for the two sides of the back okay now we need to cut our interfacing the same way we have cut this front and back let me get my interfacing so that we can cut it as well and this is the interfacing i'm using i'm sure you're familiar with it um, it's a paper stay. We call it paper stay in Nigeria. I don't know what you call it there. So the front now. Remember that we had it on fold. That's the same thing you do for the front. You just fold it into two. You don't need to fold it into four. Fold it into two because the front will just be on one part of the front or one side of the band so remember for the fabric we folded it like this palm and like this palm four for the interfacing just fold it palm like this okay that's just the difference take your cf that's the front place it this way let this center front be on fold same thing you did for your uh, main fabric pin it down or place your um, weight on top of it so that and you cut it okay now that we have cut the front let's go ahead to cut the back fold it again that same way into two like so and place my back 
so the back the zipper the zipper should be the one now that is like on the fold you can pin it down if you want to then the zipper remember you need to split it into two okay now i'm going to get my pieces of the band this is the front piece of the band okay like this now i'm just going to take my my interfacing and iron it on just one side of this front so place it and iron it smoothly iron it smoothly that's this front the other one of the front will not have any interfacing i'll keep it one place i'll keep it with the rest of its mates now for the back i'll take the two pieces on top because they do not have interfacing i'll take the two pieces on top they do not have interfacing then i'll just pair them up with its counterpart its colleague <laughs> that has no interfacing as well that's the front i mean I'll pin it on the side seams like that. It's just temporary so they're not looking for anything. It's not like that's how you attach it eventually. It's a temporary attachment. Okay, so now that I have pinned it, I cannot keep this one out of place. Now for my two back pieces that the interfacing will be attached. Remember this is the zipper side yeah and the interfacing is the bubbly side so just place it on it this way palm go and iron properly okay place this one to palm iron properly okay so let me just quickly iron this all of these ones that have the interfacing see how it's filled up it's filled up if you don't want it to fill up you can remove the half inch allowance that you put at the bottom well, to me, I, I like it filling it up the whole place. So let me quickly iron this and come back to show you what next. All right, so here is the band pieces. I iron my interfacing, and this is how it looks with the interfacing ironed. For the front, this is the front, and these are the two back pieces. I'm going to be stitching. this part up first of all you need to stitch the side seam for this one up first of all stitch it all the way down palm half inch oh that reminds me this stitching made me remember that we needed to go half inch here as seam allow us to stitch up the sides as well so there should have been half inch that will take care of stitching up the sides on both sides and on this side to half inches to stitch up the sides please do not forget to put it let me just adjust it here let me quickly put my half inches here i'm, so, I'm sorry about that and oversight so i'll just use my paper tape and hold it down so before you cut on your fabric put the half inch there i hope you watch the video so that you know the adjustment so on the sides from the top half inch half inch half inch include the half inch to your to your band include the half inch To be on the side seam not on the center front on the zipper side so here too i'll put my tape and do half inch down from the top half inch half inch
so that should be included so this is now the half inch here that will be sewing up okay please half inch half inch sew it down and here as well half inch half inch sew it straight down okay now let's quickly sew that these two parts down down let's sew it close so that we have one long band for the skirt and the lining piece as well for the skirt okay so this is now what i'll be having for the band that is for my um one piece this is like the lining piece of the band attach the side seams together okay now same thing you do for here which is your um the one that will be on the outside the one with the interfacing should be the one on the outside Okay, so you have one piece as well now as usual or like we always do as we are familiar with in sewing right sides facing each other you now need to sew the upper part round so you are sewing this one on top you're going to be starting from this zipper part here this band here you're starting from here that's the back zipper part you're sewing go and round on the up round 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 then when you get here you go down okay if you know that you'll be putting a hook and eye or something and you want more extension here do not forget to put allowance there so you can put one inch extra on both sides so that i'm going to take care of the hook and eye extension that will be covered except if you just want to do maybe like a button or um yeah a button or maybe like a bra hook kind of hook ahead this one will just be like this but if you want it to overlap then please put like one inch on both sides for the zipper part of the band when you are drafting as well this is what i mean so for the back here you know this half inch that you're sewing on the sides here this one also put like one inch here so that part will be the overlapping part for the band um, for the hook and eye that is going to cover up okay to so just overlap and cover up but as it is after you've sewn it and uh, round up and flip it inside out that one will just be like for a button you can put loops here then put button for the closure yeah or you can put like that kind of bra hook those small hooks that are not so very obvious uh -huh. so that's what this one will be so let me just sew from here and on top Go ahead to trim the corners, trim if this um, seams are too bulky, just trim. It's good to always trim to like a quarter of an inch so that the bulkiness won't be so much when you flip it inside out. Uh, also because this is not like a straight seam this is like a cut seam you need to notch at some specific points you can either just put your scissors and notch through or cut small triangles either one is fine most times i just put my scissors and just cut through to release the tension but don't cut to the point of where the thread is 
don't cut through that point leave that part now once you're done with that you then flip it this way and flipping on that side flipping here you need to also iron it in place so you take it to your ironing board iron iron so you're ironing so that this um sewing this stitch here we even fold to the back like this so that it's not just on top i only need to fall lightly to the back lightly not just in front so you iron 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 let me flip this part so yeah that's just it guys so yeah that's it that is it easy peasy lemon squeezy okay once you iron and you're done with everything once you iron and you're done with everything you should have something like this okay you should have something like this so this part is like your lining this is the main one that will be outside so when you want to sew it in you can either go and iron this one to make it half inch inside okay you iron it to make it half inch inside then you can just put your skirt let's assume this is my skirt now let's assume this is my skirt if i've ironed this half inch half inch inside on both the lining and the main fabric i'll just put my skirt inside it eh? like a sandwich put it place this on it and just sew it on top to catch both this one this one and this one so it's catching the three of them together if you want to do it that way if not you can do the regular you first of all sew it sew the um this one the one that has the stay you sew it first of all pram round pram 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 to the end pram then when you are done sewing it pram to the end you turn it this way and you use this one to fold it inside okay and you stitch in the gutter pam 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 that's in the gutter to give it a very clean finish so you have two ways there are so many ways of doing these things okay so this is what your band should be and i'm sure to fit it wouldn't be a problem okay yeah these kind of bands are good if you are doing maybe a pants or a skirt that is very snug to the body very fitted to the body you see that it's not just straight it has taken care of the, the the waist here how wide it is here you can see that it's different from how trim it is up here okay this one is like snugging fit to your body while this one will fit perfectly into the waistline same thing with this one mm? snugging fit this waistline here fit to the body very fit firm to the body while this one will just go into the skirt waist that's up there that's why these bands are good for um you want it fitted and all but if you're doing things like a gathered skirt like um pleated skirt you can just do your normal straight band without doing this okay this ones will be nice for fitted pants pencil or straight skirt um even your a-line skirts this one will be nice for it or maybe your flare skirt your flare skirt too you need to do this so that it's going to fit well because that flare skirt was cut on the bias and when you cut something on bias you see that even stretches and widens more except when you're sewing so it stretches and widens more and you know that once you just cut your straight um, band and you fit it in you know is fitting in the straightened circle scale except you do a basic stitch or whatever one that works for you choose whichever one you know will be fine with you now you have two ways of doing a band the normal straight one that you just cut iron and fix it in or you have this one as well so whichever one works fine for you please go feel free to use it and we have come to the end of the tutorial today okay 
if you did enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up also subscribe if you are yet to guys see to like to like is free to subscribe is free okay please do not do not just leave without liking like and subscribe especially if you know you're getting value on here okay and yeah take care god bless you bye